Hello guys, my name is Daniel. Uh, welcome to SciTech Discovery Center. Today we're going to be doing a science activity uh, that is called a clonometer. The first thing we need to get to do a clonometer is we need to uh, find the materials provided that you can actually find at the SciTech boxes that we sell here. So the first thing we need is a protractor. You can actually find this at the back to school size since you're gonna get it cheap. But like I said, you can find it at the side tech uh, boxes that we sell here. So the other thing that the material that we need is this straw. We also need a head knot, a string, and we also need a piece of tape right here. So. The first thing that we're going to be doing is to hold the straw like this and we're going to tape it to the edge, uh, the straight edge of the protractor right here. So make sure you tape it just like this. Let me just do it so you guys uh, can see how to do it. We're going to tape it like this. Okay? So next step is hold one end of the string and we're gonna tie it to the head knot. Okay? okay. So the next step we need is to take the other end of the string and we're gonna actually actually put it in a hole that the protractor has in it. It's a little hole so make sure you tie it really really okay, so we're gonna put it in. We're gonna tie it just like this. Just like this. Okay so now that we have our uh, chronometer ready we're going outside to use it to calculate the height of any building that you want. Okay guys, so now we're uh, measuring how far away for, from the building and it is actually 20 feet away from here. And now, we're gonna measure how far my eyes are from the ground. So, I think it's five feet or four inches. Okay. Okay, guys. So now that we have our chronometer completed, we're gonna stay in the same spot where you measure how uh, far were you away from the building. And we're just gonna uh, try to look through the string to the top of the building and make sure the string falls down all the way all the way down and we actually have an angle of 40 degrees okay so we're gonna show you uh, the formula to calculate how high the building is and make sure you do your math right Thank you. okay guys now that we have our numbers Make sure that you have a scientific calculator with you, okay? You can actually find it in your iPad or you can actually go to the store and buy one. Okay, so uh, since our angle was, uh, it was 4 degrees right here, uh, the distance away from me to the building, it was 20. And uh, how high my eyes were, uh, to the ground it was 5.33 like this so uh, make sure before you do this uh, the formula subtract 90 from 40 that it was your degrees uh, your angle I mean and it's 50 right here okay guys now that we have our numbers we're just gonna fill the formula out uh, the first thing is as height of an object is equal to the height of your eye, that is 5.33 times brackets, it's 10 
the 10 button you can actually find it in your scientific calculator so it's 10 and the angle from your eye to an object that is 50 plus the I mean, times horizontal distance from your object that is uh, 20 so you just put that all that in your on your calculator it's okay so it's 50 10 times 20 equals plus 5.33 equals okay guys so there you have it it's 29 30 feet tall this building and um, well that that is pretty much it thank you for watching the site tech discovery center videos uh, please come back to check more videos uh, thank you for watching